Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mast and welcome to Dark and Darker. This is not a sponsored video. It's just a game that I've been having a lot of fun with. If you guys have been following Twitch or just new game releases in general, you definitely might be aware that this game exists. It's basically Fantasy Tarkov and it has potential to be my favorite game that I've ever played. It's very early on. I'm definitely not calling it that yet, but it's a game that I've been having a ton of fun with. And most of that comes down to the similarities that it has with Tarkov that I had a ton of fun with when I first got into that. So it's not a shooting game. Tarkov's a shooting game. Tarkov's like a realistic shooter survival game. This game is survival, I would say, and it's more so focused on PvE compared to Tarkov. There's plenty of PvP. Don't get me wrong. There's a ton of it. But like in Tarkov, you've learned to kill scavs super easily, which are the AI. In this, the AI can still mess you up. And in this, it's a lot faster paced in a very different environment with it being that D&D fantasy world where you got either like melee weapon, bow, or some sort of magic or some sort of mixture in between. So it's still coming out with classes. It's still coming out with new maps. It's fairly early in the alpha. But the main beautiful thing about this game is the devs are amazing so far. And I, I say so far, um, <laughs> as far as I know, they have been amazing in the past. And this game is still very early in its alpha and it's moving forward. And even though it's early alpha, you can tell how well made and how well polished this game is already with stuff like the hitboxes and the movement and things like that. The movement's a little bit clunky, but that's un that's intentional. Um, but it's got devs that I think have already done a great job of building like the foundation of the game. And they're constantly implementing new things to make the game better. Place has a play test. But again, I say that having only played one play test before this. So if you guys are interested in playing it for yourselves or checking it out yourselves, look up Dark and Darker. I'll have a link in the description. It's on Steam. Um, but it's a game that's currently in play test stages. So once I think about every six weeks for about one week of length, you'll be able to play the game. And for me right now, I think I'm getting to a point where I will eagerly be awaiting every single week that I get a chance at playing the game until it does some sort of more serious alpha or beta release where I can play it for longer periods of time um, at a time. So for this video, I'm going to be doing some dark and darker gameplay. It's going to be actual in-game commentary, unlike this little intro I'm doing for it. I might explain some things in the raids as we get to them. Um, some of the stuff, of course, I've already explained here, but it's a really fun game. I've been having a blast. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Let me know if you guys would like to see it less edited or more edited or what in the future. Um, I'm assuming you guys might like to see some more classes if you're remotely interested, which I'll be planning on doing as well. But yeah, that should do it for the intro. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Let me know in the comments down below. All right, so I guess before we go in, I'll show what I'm actually running right now. So when you guys have money in this game, one of the biggest things, and I do this less extremely than a lot of people that play a ton do, uh, one of the biggest things is actually bringing potions, bandages, shields, stuff like that. So ways to heal yourself up, ways to tank damage. Um, so I am bringing some stuff, but a lot of the time, the more extreme people, especially I've noticed the people playing sweaty three mans, because you can go up to three man groups in this game. Not for the solo dungeon we're going to be in at least to start, but but you can with the other map, with the main map. But I'm bringing some potions. These will heal me a decent amount if I either take some damage from, from enemies like AI enemies or from, from actual players. But one thing that's important to note is I'm running a little bit geared. It's not like min-maxed. Um, I mean, it's kind of min-maxed, but it's not like I don't have a complete sweaty set. It's mostly stuff that I have found in raids and I've kept as I've kept living with over and over and over again. So, yeah, like these gloves aren't actually that good. They're OK, but we've got this for anybody curious. If you guys are new to the game, you're not going to know what any of these means. But worth noting, I, I have some stuff, man. I have some stuff on my character right now. I'm gonna kill you guys. I'm gonna kill all of you. No, you're not. Especially Fuck you. you. Whoa! You. <laughs> all right, so if it wasn't obvious, there's VoIP. It's on push to talk. Not everything I say is gonna be streamed to every single person in the lobby. This is gonna be a little bit pain. Oh, we did get a little one shot. Wait, how are you not dead? Is this a different one? This is gonna be the most painful start I've had on this map. Give him a little chop. All right, it's going to be the most painful start. And of course, we just have an instant heal shrine. So game easy. So the barb class, um, if it's not already obvious, we use typically two handed. Oh, that's good. We use typically two handed weapons um, and just OK, there was two of these and just beat ass. And these death beetles are terrifying, by the way. This is actually by far the scariest start I've had. <laughs> I'm geared, so like I didn't think I was going to die or anything, but like, if, if I wasn't geared, if I had beginner loot, then I actually probably would just straight up be 
expecting to die. So one of the things that Barb gets to do, there's a perk called Smash, where you smash stuff. It really is just what it sounds like. Me swing hard, me break open loot. So we're going to do a little of that. I should maybe turn down my volume now that I'm trying to talk. I might volume way, way too loud in this game. Do I hear somebody? That's just a goblin. So player footsteps are really loud. Um, goblins are kind of loud too. Normally it's easier to tell the difference on, on the other map because goblins actually sound kind of human. Normally they're like bony footsteps or like zombie footsteps. Whoops. I forget that it, I forget they like to run. Give him another whack. Oh, the shield putting in some work. Oh, the wall putting in some... There we go. <laughs> putting in some work. By the way, this Y-Hander, if you try and play this with people, this Y-Hander is uh, a really good way to TK. When I was playing with a friend of mine, I think for, for a while we did we do it for like a few hours. I think the first time, maybe the only time either of us died was me TKing him because this thing swung from not even like I wasn't even being negligent. He was just like right behind me and it actually hit him. So <laughs> this thing has a huge AOE, which is fine in solos. It's kind of nutty. It makes it easy to hit stuff and you can cleave a lot of um monsters or potentially people if they position bad. Oh, I hear somebody, but I can't get to him. I don't know this map very well. I've only played it a little bit. I want to get to him, but I can't. So you can see in the, uh, I try to free mouse like this is smite, man. You can see in the top right. Ooh, there's a boss here. Uh, I can probably kill it. Let me see. I know about some cheese. Let me see if I can figure out a way to, oh, actually, that doesn't work on this one, does it? The hell, his body just fall? Please, man, I got the boss on me. Oh, you do too. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see him die on the screen. I want to see him die on the top right. No, 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 not this way, man, not this way. I think we're actually fine. I mostly want to get this guy killed. Give me them legs, boy. Oh, oh. Okay, so I have two bosses on me, so uh, we'll have to figure this out. Oh, can I trap them with... No, this way? This way smarter? By the way, we do go slow with the sword out. Pop another one of these in a sec. Yeah, so one of the downsides to smashing every door in front of you... I have to go kill that guy. I am legally obligated to go kill that guy. Oh, are you guys chill? Okay, okay. There are bosses maybe following me. I'll leave you be. I'll leave them be. If they're chill, they're chill. What the? Can you not? Oh my god! Getting clapped by traps. Oh, but he's not chill. Yeah, look at that cleave go. Yeah! Give me the loot. Do a little drinking. If he tries anything, I'm pretty sure I can delete his face. So he'd better not. Chop. Oh, portal spawning. Don't worry, if you guys can't see this, just know that I also... What? I thought you were dead. What? I th How are you not dead? Just know that I also can't see it. Do a little chopping. Get another blue thing. Okay, that's the boss again. I don't know what the hell's going on upstairs, but fireballs are everywhere. We doing this? Wow. I'm gonna get your fucking legs. Okay, this is unfair. <laughs> Stupid little corridor, man. 
Give me that loot. All right, we gotta start looking for a way out. Okay, those are the chill guys. There's somebody still fireballing upstairs. Yeah, normally, I'm not gonna lie, I do tend to just kill on sight, uh, but those guys, I felt bad. I don't feel bad for that guy, though. Let's see what he's got for me. Okay, we should be fine. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Then there we go. That's a... I want to see this guy die. I want to see him die so badly. That is our first little look at a raid. I have no clue how much it's going to be edited. Um, I, I figured... Nice. We got three kills that, that time, right? The second one was a little awkward because... <laughs> I got to go back and see. I think I killed the only two guys that possibly could have BM'd me in the lobby. I'm pretty sure. I gotta go back and see which one it was. I'm gonna kill you guys. I'm gonna kill all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid little corridor, man. <laughs> Sorry, I'm too amused, man. I gotta watch this guy die in a corner. I always love watching the, the desperate people try and get out alive. Do it to him. Do it to him. Oh, oh, he's got a chance. That's got to be the guy that was chucking fireballs the whole time up top somewhere. By the way, this map gets a little terrifying. Um, I don't know if they've added portals literally like today in a hot fix. They made it so there can be more people on this map. It was already hard to escape this map. So I also get to do a little learning right here to see how many portals spawn and if it's like even reliable. Because my greatest fear playing this map has not even been dying to play. <laughs> All right, died to random trap. And we're back. And we go sell some stuff. So, things to note. Um, these, generally worth looting. Um, if you're a sweaty nerd, you might be like, eh, some of these are not worth looting. But, like, basically, just fill your inventory with stuff like this. These are little trinkets. They sell for okay money. Um, different types mean different things. Like, cracked is bad. Flawed is a little better. You can tell when it's gray. That means it's the worst. That goes for all the loot in the game. Um, let me see. I'm assuming I don't have any sort of gray stuff lying around. I don't know why I would. So, gray is the worst. White is actually different. It's going to be a little bit better. Green. I don't think we have any green loot. Oh, wait. Did I see? Oh, that's the sword. Yeah. Green is going to be better than that. Blue is better than that. And there's, like, purple, orange. Basically, you know, colors mean that it, it's better than that. So... Uh, the gray stuff tends to not be worth anywhere near as much, but it's still worth picking up normally. It's still a tiny bit of money. Weapons don't tend to be worth much unless you sell them on the market, and normally you're looking for specific stats or higher colors to sell them on the market. And I don't like I've been making so much money. I've just been even straight up. If it's not a weapon that I am going to use and it doesn't have absolute god stats on it, then I'm just going to either sell it to traders or not loot it. So we had some space to fill. I figured we would sell some, pick up some of this stuff. Yeah, look at like it, it's okay. It's okay. It's not crazy. Because they're greens, they're gonna be worth around the same as the trinkets. And they're not like absurdly large. They don't take up a ton of space. So we kind of sell almost everything like this. You can see the blues. 24. I think there's another blue I have to sell, right? There we go. 30. Yeah. So blues a lot less. What's this? 31. A lot less common. And uh way better. Like absolutely huge difference. This candy stuff's really good, by the way. You can use it on a specific trader. This guy, Valentine. I think every time the game has been up, I've only played for two playtests now. There's been some sort of candy. I don't know if they're planning on keeping that forever or not. But basically, there will be a trader you can get like really good loot from in exchange for that candy. So let me actually fill up my stash. I literally might not have space for this. I actually do not have space for this. Um, <laughs> so I'll have to deal with that. But yeah, that's basically what we're doing. And then let me, before we actually go into next raid um one thing i like to do i like to bring extra throwing axes right now because in that one fight where things got a little awkward they can come in clutch as just kind of being a tool you can use in any circumstance so you can use them point blank 
They're actually really bad at long range. They're really slow and they have a terrible drop on them. They have a ton of curve. So like long to mid range, but especially when people run away from you on a barbarian, because barbarian um, has some speed, but isn't crazy fast. And like if he was crazy fast, he would just dumpster everybody because he does crazy damage. So sometimes you're going to get outrun by some of the, the faster classes. And if they're running away from you, then throwing throwing axes into their backs is a great way to slow them down and to do damage, which is good. So we're going to bring this in an extra set in case I need extras. And then I'll go buy some potions, which some of these I can just port over. Yeah, we'll normally buy potions. You can stack potions of different types at the same time or different amounts. So I have some 15s and some 19s. If you're not getting crazy sweaty and getting stuff off of like the market or stuff that you've looted in raids that are that are better quality, this is a good way to go where you can drink one of these. And then if you want to try and heal fast, drink a, one of the 19s as well, which are way more expensive. But this way you heal 34 over 20 seconds, which is a lot better, right? And then invoice potions we don't really care about. Bandages are there if I need healing desperately. Let's see. Yeah, we should be good here. Let me move this over so you don't have a spot for this. Nice. And then we'll want some more shields and we can just bring these over. So yeah, normally going to be visiting the alchemist after like every raid. And then I'll sell these real quick and then real quick I'll make room off camera for just the absurd amounts of money from being so good at this game. All right, this time around, unless somebody seems unbelievably cool, we are making no friends. We are murdering everybody. Come here, start dying. Come on. Come on. We do a little, ooh, that's actually, I think, pretty good, too. I don't play mage. I'm sure it could be better. I think that's actually some money, and I might actually sell that on the market. Or I can just sell it to traders. That works, too. So I don't really know my way around this map all that well. Somebody, somebody already died, man. I don't know my way around all that well. By the way, there's mining. If you guys see any of this and you're curious, any of these red ore, there's also blue ore. There's mining. It is absolute garbage right now. It is not worth. These are good. I might do a little little market selling just to showcase it. Just to showcase some stuff. Hey, bud. Do a little chopping. Uh, the lanterns are really good for getting throwing axes. Sorry, I called them lanterns. That made no sense. The the bat things are really good for getting throwing axes. So on barb, also throwing knives. So yeah, literally as we speak. So on barb and on rogue that can use those. And I guess maybe fighter. I think fighter can use those. That can be worth. They also just have to tend to have good loot. And on, on at least some classes, they're absurdly easy. Yeah, we're getting crazy throwing axes right now. Chop. Headshots do significantly more damage, by the way. Uh, and sometimes, as well as hitting the right part of your weapon. Like, if I point blank hit something with this, it's going to be like hitting kind of with a hilt. And the game's not going to let me do anywhere near as much damage. So we want to tend to hit with at least close to the end. Um... And ideally the head. And not like the neck, but like the head. I heard somebody break something somewhere. Yeah, through here. That sounds like another barb if they're breaking shit. Oh, maybe not. Maybe they're down here. I just, I want to get to murdering, man. Like, I got plenty of loot. I don't need to go clap some monsters. Ow. Uh-uh. Not friendly. Get to dying! Get to dying! Get mad! Come on. Come at me. Oh, I'm- I'm whiffing. Oh, I'm whiffing. Chop. There we go. I played that terrible, but he has starter gear, so I didn't care. That was the guy I saw in the lobby. It was our boy, Olgar. Our dead boy, but, but still. By the way, if you guys ever get scared by me taking random damage, hearing a little, a little shk sound, that probably didn't even come through the mic. It's, uh, I'm just running into random traps, because I don't know the map that well. Random little spike traps on the walls. Okay, here's somebody through here, so... By the way, like, half the lobby's dead already. I think someone's over here. Maybe not. Maybe not. 
I gotta run real far for this zone, holy. Oh, fine, I'll kill bugs. That's the boss. That's the boss. Okay, I gotta go through this way. <laughs> Literally just a repeat right now, oh my god. Come on. Oh, leading him through some traps? There's, I know there is a trap here. I've run into this thing like 50 times. So I do know about this one. Oh, what's up, guys? <laughs> yeah, he's kind of following me. <laughs> yeah, he's a little obsessed. Bro, I walked into the wrong neighborhood. I think he's over here somewhere. Ow! Ow! Oh, I am throwing right now. either above or below. Doesn't look below. Okay, so I should be able to lose the boss. I wanted to kill the rogue so bad, but this stupid boss is ruining it. How the hell do I get over there? That's not it. I think it's this way. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, I gotta not go in that boss room. Should I run the felling axe? Hmm. Whenever it gets cramped, it's probably fine. I could run a secondary for when it gets cramped. It's probably not worth it. Actually, maybe it is worth it. You know what? Let me get let me get just a different felling axe. Because who cares? I have so much money. I might as well. Let me actually go buy a felling axe. Yeah, this thing will clap a little bit if we get into tight quarters. Me man. Oh, uh, this might be some loot. I'm not gonna get into trap. I think I'm gonna get into trap here. Cleave. Yeah, so if I try the felling axe, I think? Maybe I should do it for, oh, nope, nope, nope. Did not know this guy would be coming. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think for science. Come here, Dobby, come get some. Come get some. Come on, do a swing. Thank you. And we do a chop. And then I think I take damage. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure I just assumed in advance it'd be terrible for fighting goblins. Seems like it is. Let me actually heal up. Yeah, for science, man. For science. By the way, you do bandage faster, like any sort of interaction like this where you're channeling things, you tend to do faster on the lighter weight classes. I believe Barbarian is by far the slowest and it's not close. So, worth knowing, like, bandages in general kind of suck on him. Um, yeah, what's good, man? I am absolutely going to go run at his face. How's it going? No, no, no! The hell back here. <laughs> Where the hell did he go? Am I blind? Did he fall in here? I think he did. Yeah, well, I guess I'll loot. Silly me. Oh, he's coming back for more, huh? Oh, I think I went the wrong way. Ooh. 
Ooh, ooh. Okay, you know what? Oh god! <laughs> Yo, did you know about the barb? Oh my god, they're so slow. Okay, that's... No, come on. That's not gonna work. Do a little stamp. Do a little chomp. <laughs> Why didn't ganked by a barb, man? Rogue is like the specific class that does this, and they're just sitting there hiding in the dark. <laughs> a little weirdo. I respect it, don't get me wrong. Alright, we're out of throwing eggs, let's give me yours. Thank you. Damn, he had some garbage. Alright. Uh... This way? Okay, they're definitely... Hmm. Kinda sounds like I'm gonna get instantly clapped by goblins. Let me go this way. Yeah, the downside to this map, goblins are harder than normal monsters on the other map, and they are everywhere. There's so many. Boss room again, does he know? Oh, he knows. Oh, he knows. Looks like I can go this way. Let me just aggro the map. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, they have to stop chasing me someday. Surely. By the way, skeleton, something we'd see on the other map. Alright, I'm making my stand. Okay, hang on. Hang on. It's so awkward getting the angles. <laughs> I have to like nod at the door. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. There we go. Look at that, he smartened up. There we go. Yeah, the uh, little beetles, they're really hard to kill. Um, they have crazy loot though, so kind of makes up for it. I do need to head in towards the zone if I can. Oh, is he dead? I'm so stupid, man. <laughs> oh, hi. Do a little looting. Yeah, there's probably going to be... How many players have died? Most of them. Try and go in prepared. Oh, that's a player. Why'd you do that, man? Oh god, I don't know how that missed. <laughs> really tried to invis. You do break the invis when you move, by the way. That was absolutely not gonna work. Oh, somebody took a portal? No, no. Chop. Chop. Okay, I think I got enough time. I can greed loot a little more. Gonna need to go find a portal. That might have been the last player, actually. Gotta find me a new portal. Okay, I'm in the next zone. I might have to run around to find a little something. Two portals total have appeared.
stop it. It's actually pretty good. There we go, there's a portal. That's what I need in my life. Big cleave! Oh. Massacred. Uh-uh. Oh my god, just a bunch of throwing knives, man. I think we're good. Oh, please. Another portal. All right, whatever. Hello? You don't want this. You don't want this. All right, this is kind of like goblin gang territory. I guess kind of mostly just the map, but like this, these little areas, there are quite a few of them around the map, at least I think. I happen to be around here a lot. Um, what? Why are you running? Stop it. There's going to be a lot of them to deal with. There's another. By the way, the little thing I'm doing where I turn around like this is a really good way in general in this game to uh, to fight monsters so that you don't get hit and kite them a little bit. I guess I'll loot those for now. I do have to be a little careful. I uh, I forgot to loot all my torches last raid, so I'm missing one. Ooh! Oh wait, that's not actually good. They're blue, so you'd think it would... Fuck. Got him. Oh my god, I'm taking so much whatever. For no reason, taking so much damage. There we go. I kind of threw a little bit right there. I think it's the most damage I've taken to like one big chunk, even <laughs> from, from players or monsters. That was almost a hell of a throw. Oh my god! Why did I take double damage from that? I can't tell if this guy's here or not. Shouldn't have done that, boy. Give me the loot. Is this good? Yeah. Sure. Ooh, these are good. Green throwing axes. Oh, that's actually... That's pretty good. I think I need to start running a... Ooh. Ooh. A little loot in here? This man had a real quarter staff. Okay. Oh no! Okay, let me sneak through the traps. Yeah, I really gotta learn where all these spikes are. Nice. Big money. Yeah, we gotta kinda try and hold on to these torches a little bit. So big tip, I already kind of touched on this. You can always look in the top right. I don't know if this is true for the high rollers. Because those are kind of like hardcore mode, I think. So they might not have like a death list or whatever. But we can see five people have died. And the game's normally going to have 11 with this patch. Can I just leave here? At some point going up, you can just leave. I've done it one time. This is a ton of loot. If we can find it, I'm probably just going to take it. 
and like mark it in my head. Okay, I'm not really gonna try and bother with this. Can you not? Try and get to the zone. Oh, there's somebody over there, hold up. Oh my god, he's so clueless right now. Do a little flank? Do a little flanking? Oh, I'm throwing this. <laughs> I guess he was super low. Nice. Oh, new player? He thinks he can run. Just straight up running into the zone. <laughs> Alright, I don't want to go loot my kill if I can. This guy's being a little shit. He's coming back. Whatever. Portal somewhere around here. Right here. I want to kill this guy. Oh, he's over there in the corner. Baited. <laughs> oh, and he has so much loot for me. Oh, that thing's pretty good. I don't think I have room for it, though. Like that, that should be fine. I might have missed some stuff, I don't know. Oh, he started aiming at me. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I can maybe cut him off over here. Yeah, I can. He's just gonna keep rolling. Whatever. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I do want to mess with him though. It's cool, man. I opened it for you. I'll let you go. No, stop. It's cool. Go take the portal. Whatever. <laughs> I was so nice to him in the end. Like, I had to appreciate it.
I had to appreciate it how badly he wanted to live. Wait, can I still see? Let's see. Oh, I don't think he had gear or anything. Anything worth killing him for? Yeah, let's try and get in next raid real quick. Oh, I still have this perk on. I guess I'm actually using the Felling Axe, so that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. But I'll try and showcase a little bit how much damage I do. Because there's a little dummy in the, the starting area that you can test stuff on. Oh, actually, this might be good timing. <laughs> I think it's down here. Swing! Swing fast! 129. Should be like full on headshot. One, 129. Um, and you can do way more, like if I use the felling axe, it's probably like 150 or something. So, it's a little wild. Armor helps, um, my own health bar is higher than that, like, and, and armor will help mitigate too. But normally on Barbarian, if you're remotely geared, and they're not absurdly tanky themselves, oh, I forgot to get torches, that'll suck. You're gonna tend to two-shot. Because even if you're not headshotting, even if they have armor, you're gonna tend to hit so hard. That you're gonna be able to at least two shot, if not one shot. How do I? I guess I, I can break these, yeah? It's the weirdest spawn. Oh? Oh, it's just the bats. I want the beetles! Oh, they thought. Oh, they thought. Yeah, these guys do tend to fall, but luckily I caught that one in time. Oh? Where are you at? Wait, is he up there? Hello? I can't even, are you there? I can't see you. How do I, how do I get to him? Oh? Oh, those are goblins. They're ambitious goblins. They're so ambitious. Tell me that guy's not an archer, he's gonna shoot me in the ass. I respect the RP, so I'm not gonna go kill that guy. Whenever whenever I hear some shit like hello adventure, I gotta like I gotta let him be. This will scare the shit out of this guy. Check this out. They can hear me pop the potion, so they should know. <laughs> oh my god, that poor guy, man. Backup axes. By the way, he's ten of a good loot. Chomp. Chomp. Well, I think there's something else, right? Is it under the helmet? Whatever. I don't know what to do with myself. Oh yeah, I saw on a stream earlier today that you can break these, which I didn't know about. Come here, come on, die faster so I get loot. Thank you. Find players. Found a player. Oh, what's up, man? Okay, but this guy is not cool. guy, man. <laughs> what a cool guy. Probably bother looting this.
All right, where's this stuff at? It's above or below? not here. Mm. Oh, he's a tanky one. It is an elite. Whenever whenever anything looks red, it's gonna be an elite. Eh. Is the guy I killed? We doing circles right now? This is a way to get down. Oh, there's a portal. I already have gear, right? I have some. I kind of want to get to murdering, but... Yeah. Let's just do a nice little clean dip. See this guy suffer. Yeah, look at, that, look at the amount of suffering. This guy's down here just mining shit. Does he have gear? Oh, he actually has a little bit. He has a little bit of gear. Um, oh, this guy's mining too. <laughs> These guys, man. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff to mine in this dungeon. This guy's actually, this is the most geared guy I've seen so far today. This guy's suffering. This guy's suffering. This guy's doing okay. Oh. Oh, who's gonna fight over it? Oh, he's actually up top, too. This guy can't even get to it, can he? Unless it's right there. It's gonna be, what the hell are you doing? It's gonna be so tragic if all three of them die right now. He's praying to the gods. <laughs> One down. Yeah. Wow. Three people died to the swarm. So sad, man. Maybe it is good that I dipped. Given I would have just run around and gone and, and found the little portal up top. I'm assuming I would have been able to find it. I guess it maybe would have been a struggle. Those poor guys. All right, so that does it for the Dark and Darker video. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed the video. Definitely make sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below, whether you'd like to see more editing, whether you're fine with it being less edited. You can hypothetically can be like, don't edit it at all. But I mean, honestly, this was like way less edited than I was planning to do to begin with. So I think <laughs> I think this video is going to be like the closest we'd get to not editing at all. But let me know what you guys think of that. I think in the future, I'm probably going to be cutting it up more than I did in this one. But with this one being the first, with a lot of people probably not even being familiar with the game, but watching the game, I thought I would leave in a lot more context. There's definitely spots where we're just fighting monsters, um, looting a bit, stuff like that, where it's quieter, it's less exciting, it's less interacting with players. And I thought, at least for the first one, that I would let some of that be in so that people can get a better feel for the game itself and understanding what's actually happening. And then potentially in the future, there might be way less PvE and almost exclusively PvP. Interacting with players, killing players, stuff like that. Because that's what like is the really core fun part of the game. But I thought I'd leave this in to see, for one thing, what you guys think of it, and also to give some people some context since it's the first Dark and Darker video that I've done. But that does it. I am planning to upload more soon and record more soon. As of now, I only have basically, uh, before this video, I only have like clips of me just kind of playing and playing with friends. So I don't really have stuff I can make videos entirely out of yet. It would just maybe be like a little, little segments that I could upload as shorts. So hopefully I can get some of those up and I can get some more dark and darker videos over like the next week or so. And then because the game is in a state of playtest right now, there will probably be a huge gap. And then it comes back and then there'll be more is what I'm planning. Because I just, you know, I can't magically play the game while it's unplayable, right? 
So that's my plan. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room. Walls keep tumbling down.